Well, greetings, everyone. Let's try this all over again. Our audio has been all over the place uh, this morning, just some kind of crackling. If it's in it now, I just did a test and it was fine. Uh, if it's doing it again now, we're just going to have to live with it. Uh, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Maybe, m maybe the enemy is trying to not get this word out. Well, we're going to get it out anyway. Bless God. So this is, we had a great service this weekend with uh, Chris Brooks and his lovely wife, Davy. God just moved and blessed. You can go to our Facebook page for the church, Today's Victory Church, and you can see that. And uh, it'll be good. It'll be great. There's Sheila again. Poor Sheila. She's been on here every time, every time that I've, I've tried to do this. But we're going to make it through this time, Miss Sheila. Listen, I want you to turn uh, to Chronicles. This is, my, this, is, this is my word of encouragement today. It's been on my heart, and I want to uh, make sure I get it out. That's why I'm, this is my third shot at this, and it's gonna, we're going to make this thing work. Well, there's Amy, Amy Walker. Good to see you. Second Chronicles, <coughs> Second Chronicles 20, verse 15. It says, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid. <coughs> Do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged by the mighty army. The battle is not yours, but it's God's. The battle's not yours, but it's God's. What's it saying? Don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. Because whatever's going on around you is not your battle. It's God's battle. And God's for you. And God is not against you. He is with you uh, even to the end of the age. God is here with you even now. I don't know about you, but how, how many's ever faced something that's beyond your ability, <clears throat> that's beyond your power, that's, be, that, uh, that's beyond what you can actually handle yourself. I don't know, know about you, but I've definitely had those things, and situ those things and those situations in my life. And we have to understand that we need to trust God during those things. See, the devil wants to come in. He wants to, to take those things and discourage us and, and rev, rev up fear inside of us because uh, the situation is, is, is more than we can handle or more than we can control. But the good news is, is that even when we aren't in control, and, we're, and, and I'll actually, I ought to, we are not in control, but God is. God is in control of everything that's around us. Even the crazy things that we see going around us right now, God has everything in hand, everything uh, is, is, is going to be all right. In fact, in fact, I believe that God's got something that he's preparing for his people, preparing for the world around us that's going to shock everybody. It's going to shock everybody. You see, I believe when we go, when, when our Heavenly Father gets here and he comes, I don't believe we're going to go out with a, our head ha held low and hiding in a cave somewhere depressed and scared to death to turn around or ever say anything, just sitting there in, in, in weakness. I believe we're going to go out with a shout. I believe we're going to go out with a shout. Uh, there, there are those that need Jesus Christ. There are those that need to come into the kingdom. There's those that need to be transferred from darkness into light. There's people who, who need to hear the word of God. So I, we're going out with a victory. We're going out with a shout. Now, the world may be going crazy around us, but we're going out with a shout and a victory looking for our heavenly father. So having said that, God's in control, not us. You see, we, we tend to begin to, to depend on uh, uh, the schemes of men. The schemes of men to solve the things that are around us. So we depend on the government to solve our problems and solve our situations. We depend on those who have power over us to solve our problems and solve our situations. But the schemes of men never solve anything. In fact, more times than not, the schemes of men make things worse. That's why when we're preparing for things in the church and the things that we're doing within our ministry, we try, we try to pray about those things and get the mind of God on those things so we're not just doing what we want to do, but we're doing what we feel that needs to be done because uh, uh, God is bigger. Yes, Miss Amy, God is bigger than our biggest fear. That's a, that's a good line right there. God is bigger than our biggest fear. So the things around us can't be, uh, can't be solved by the schemes of man. And there you go, Miss Sheila, fear is a liar. Fear is a liar. That's right. These schemes of men uh, can't solve the things around us. We have to remember that God is in control and God is still able. God is in control and God is still able. And we need to learn to lay those things in His capable hands. 
Which means I can go through the day and have peace. I can go through to today and have joy. I can go through today and have a victory and have a smile on my face. I mean, this is the third time I've had to do this today. And I could have easily got frustrated and everything. And even if it's not doing right this time, we're, we're, we're sticking with this one. But, but uh, I, could got, I could have got frustrated and everything. But I didn't, man. I just said a prayer over each one, checked it out, and said, hey, let's do this again. This must not be the one that God wanted out here today. And so we're going to keep, you know, so I just did it again. No, no use getting frustrated. No use getting all those kind of things. Because God's in control. God's in control who needs to see this. God's in control of who's watching this. God's in control who this benefits. God's in control of all of that. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about how many people are watching or how many hits I get or anything like that. God's in control of it. And we need to get that in our spirit and our life and realize that the things that are going on around us were, that are out of our control, God is in control. And we need to put it in His capable hands. So go by the scripture, 2 Chronicles 20, 15. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. God's going to fight for you. Not only will God fight for you, God is fighting for you. The work's already been done. Don't you see? The victory's already been made. The victory's already happened. The victory is at the cross. It's already taken place. It's already happened. It's already there. So, so, so God uh, was fighting for you in the past, and He is fighting for you today, and He's going to be fighting for you tomorrow. So lift your head up high. Do whatever it takes to get your mindset right, and choose joy and choose peace today. Cast down frustration. Cast down all these things and, and choose the right things. Pour the right things into your spirit. Pour the right things into your mind. Let God do something inside of you today. Make that choice. So as you go out today, don't be afraid. If you hear something crazy, don't be discouraged. God's in control. God is in control. He is omniscient. He's all-knowing. He's all-powerful. He's in, in and of everything around us. You hear, we hear all this bad news that are going around, and we just get so discouraged and afraid sometimes. But I want you to notice... All we hear pretty much is bad news. We don't ever hear the good stuff. We don't hear about the salvations. We don't hear about the people who are coming to Christ. We don't hear about the people in other countries. We just hear about all the mess that's going on. But we don't hear about the revival. And we don't hear about the hope. And we don't hear about the miracles. And we don't hear about the hand of God moving those things. Because the enemy doesn't want us to hear those things. He wants us to be afraid. He wants us to be discouraged. But let me tell you, if the, even though the world doesn't want us to know. And they won't report it. And they won't let us hear about it. I tell God is still moving and they are not in control and 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 their schemes will will come to naught because God's going to work his plan regardless of what they do somebody say amen to that one amen so what I would do today lift your head up high have peace let joy wrap around you let peace wrap around you let God be inside of you let the Holy Spirit rise up. Your head, Jesus Christ is at the, at the throne with our Heavenly Father advocating for you right now. The Holy Spirit is rising up inside of you even this very moment right now. And you can choose faith. You can choose joy. You can choose peace right now. And the schemes of men and all the things around you that are coming against you can be just deleted. Because God's more powerful. So I choose peace. I choose joy. I choose to hold my head high today. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me pray with you right now. Father, I just thank you for your goodness. I thank you for this word. I ask, Father, that it bless, that it go and do what it was meant to accomplish. This word that you laid in my heart this morning, Father, that it will go and accomplish everything that it's meant to accomplish. It'll speak to every person it's meant to speak to. And, Father, that you'll wrap your arms around each and every one, Father, that they will lean upon your capable hands. That they'll realize that uh, you are in control. And that, Father, that you'll give them the wisdom and discernment and the strength, Father, to choose peace and to choose joy and to choose the right things to put into their life and their heart and their spirit today so they can walk victorious. We speak it now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. I'm so glad that you uh, jumped on uh, for a moment. <clears throat> I want to encourage you just in a little bit on the uh, Facebook page for Today's Victory Church, uh, which you're probably seeing that from right right now. Uh, just in a little bit, there'll be a link to our YouTube channel, and that YouTube channel link will take you to this particular 
uh, this particular encouraging word, but you should be able to find all the other ones from yesterday and the last week. You should find the services for Sunday. I encourage you to jump on and check those out. Uh, it was great. We uh, were able to film uh, the altar services and everything so you can actually hear the word and see what God's doing in the, and the manifestation of that word in people's lives. So I just encourage you to get involved in that. And you can also copy that link and share it after you copy it uh, on almost any platform. Almost any platform to get the word out. Get the word out and let's be encouraged today. Amen. God bless you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow with another word.